Hey, good evening. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox. We were just sitting around on Shofar Mountain uh, going through a couple of our contingency plans, and I really think it's time for you uh, to pull yours out, dust them off, and review them. And if you don't have contingency plans, then it's really time for you to sit down and develop some. Um, and when I say have contingency plans, let's just use an example. Um, let's say there is a solar flare or an EMP attack or something like that. You know, the grid goes down. Uh, we're hearing a lot about that in the news lately, probably for good reason. Uh, if that were to happen, if all of a sudden, pew, the lights go off, you know, in the whole region that you're in or, or your whole neighborhood because you don't know if it went off in the region, uh, what are you going to do? What's your wife going to do? What's your husband going to do? What are your teenagers going to do? If you're blessed, you know, fortunate enough to have a group, what's your group going to do? What actions are you going to take? Does everybody know those actions? Has it been talked about? Have you guys coordinated it? I suggest that you make lists and that everybody gets a copy of said list and, and then you assign tasks to certain people. Like, you know, Bob, uh, you're going to uh, fill up the bathtubs with water. Bill, you know, you're going to consolidate the ammo. You know, whatever. I mean, but just come up with your list and assign tasks to people. Um, the world is getting crazy, <laughs> right? I mean, you know that. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. You watch the news, you read the, the internet and, and stuff. And, uh, you know, those people who plan ahead, who have real plans, functioning plans, workable plans, typically do better in emergencies. Uh, nothing is going to go according to plan. Your plan or my plan or anybody else's plan. But a good plan is a great basis for making changes. We used to call it fragos, uh, fragmentary orders in the military. Having a good basic plan allows you then to adjust on the fly a lot better than just waiting until something happens and trying to wing it. Okay, and so really, please uh, develop some plans for what you consider are the most likely threats to you and yours. Make some list of actions to be taken. Disseminate those lists. Make sure everybody understands what their piece is to play uh, in the situation. And uh, then if you're really good, you'll start rehearsing those things. But for right now, what I'd really like you to do is get your plans out, dust them off or create them, make your lists, and then make sure everybody in your circle, whatever your circle is, knows what to do. Um, please do this. Do it now. And hopefully, I'll see you out there.